What's going on guys, it's the Nola Hub back with another video and today I'm here to announce that the New Orleans Saints have signed center slash guard Christian Montano to a one year deal. Now before this video starts off, I have a couple things I want to say, but don't click off. Number one, I am starting my own podcast with a friends of mine and uh, like a TikTok group. Like it's basically gonna, the TikTok's gonna have like clips of the podcast. The podcast will be on YouTube. It's not going to take away time from the NOLA Hub. But it'd mean a lot if you guys go subscribe to the TikTok and the YouTube. It'll have takes of ours. It'll have the TikTok will have takes of ours, clips from our, and then the podcast will be about all three major sports: football, basketball, MLB, maybe some other things, and things happening in the current sports world. Um, and I have a mock draft coming out soon. I have it about halfway done. It'll be mock draft 2.0. And let's get into it. Christian Montano is a guard slash center from Tulane. I believe he previously played for Brown. There's not a lot of information on him, remember? This is an offensive lineman. They don't like to put out information on linemen. But I will say this is a big fucking dude. 6'4", 300 plus pounds. And I think he's going to fill in like a kind of Nick Easton role. I don't think you'll see him start right away. But Nick Easton was able to play guard slash center and did a pretty decent job when he had to for injuries. And I think that's what you'll see Christian Montana do. He was a undrafted free agent that signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers and got waived last year. And he was invited to the pro day like Jalen McCleskey since he didn't get one last year because of COVID. And the New Orleans Saints brought him in for a workout with Jalen McCleskey, I believe. And like what they saw, and we signed him. This is our second Tulane player signed. We also had Cameron Sample come in to that. So I'm going to be honest. I think you might see the New Orleans Saints draft Cam Sample. I had it in Mock Draft 1.0. Um, it's it, it seems like we like these Tulane guys. That's two already in like the span of, what, three, four days? I think there's something we like. But I think I, I, th I really think we might have something here in a solid rotational lineman piece. I don't think he'll light up the world. I'm just being realistic. I don't think he'll come in and be this enforcer bruiser. But I think we have a nice solid depth piece so far that can maybe develop into something nice. Maybe like maybe like an average or a little bit above average guard. But right now he is a developmental piece that will come in and block when he needs to and we'll do a pretty decent job of it but what i really want to talk about since there's not a lot of information out on him besides that he is just a freak of nature i mean look at this fucking picture look at those biceps like goddamn. but i want to talk about his character and this is something that really impressed me um christian uh in 2017 signed up to be a bone marrow transplant uh, like a bone marrow train. I don't understand all of it, but uh, he signed up to be a donor, basically. And there's not a lot of matches because you have to get like sp very specifics. And he signed up and he got tested. And this was in 2017. And then three years later, he got a call from Rhode Island and he was a match for someone. Three years went by, and he still wanted to give his bone marrow or whatever he had to give. I, I don't understand all this medical stuff to save someone's life. And it never doubted across his mind whether he wanted to do this or not. And I just think that's that's really cool. Now, going to the rest of the story, um, he went through with it. Um, there was a man... And he was a perfect match, and they went through with the surgery, and he saved his life. He saved this man's life, and they met up after a year, because you have to wait a year. And it, I, I just think that really speaks volume to his character. Like, he sacrificed, he did a risky procedure, sacrificed himself and his health to save someone else in need. And I think that is a beautiful thing. Um, yeah, I just, I think that speaks volume to who he is and what he'll do for people. And that is one of the reasons I'm really rooting for you, Christian, if you're somehow watching this, which I doubt you are. But I am rooting for you, man. 
that that was a noble act and um that's a really nice story it really is um i'm rooting for you man i am but yeah that, that's all i got to say unfortunately there's not a lot out on him because they don't like to really ever publish anything about linemen unless it's like the top 10 picks but it is what it is and uh make sure to go subscribe to that podcast and tiktok um appreciate you all and until next time peace i really put a fucking